Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this viral story. Everybody's been talking about it. It took place down in Texas. And basically somebody's ring alarm um, captured someone leaving a two-year-old on their doorstep and then running. So initially when the video went viral, a lot of folks thought it was a joke. They thought it maybe was a prank that eventually the woman came back. People did not know what was going on, okay? So most people had no idea what was going on. So of course the news media got involved. The woman who found the two-year-old on her doorstep, she ended up calling the police. The police walked around the neighborhood looking for, you know, who owned the two-year-old. No one responded. So the baby ended up with Child Protective Services. And then it wasn't until the next day that the father found out what was going on, okay? So this entire situation is just really, really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my Commentary. Police say the suspect in this video is a friend of the two-year-old boy's mother. The mother was in the hospital and told her friend to drop off the child at his father's house. Sadly, this friend left him at the wrong house and the child's father had no idea. What he at? CPS has it. Yeah. That's my son. His live mama, here? I live here. Willie Simmons was visibly startled when reporters showed him this surveillance video the day after his son was abandoned at a stranger's home. That, that, that wasn't right. You don't drop, you don't just drop no baby off and run and leave him. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says Simmons received a text message from the child's mother saying that her friend was going to drop off their son early that afternoon at his house. Around 8.30 p.m., video captured the mother's friend abandoning the boy at the wrong house, which was actually Simmons' next-door neighbor, and taking off in a white car. Lieutenant Scott Spencer walk. says had this ordeal could have easily been avoided. Had she waited just seven more seconds, the uh, homeowner would have opened the door and maybe would have started a conversation, a dialogue, to direct her to the correct house to drop the child off. Simmons' neighbor called 911 when she found the two-year-old alone. Detectives arrived and went door to door to see if anyone could claim the child, but Simmons wasn't home. When the child did not show up at the residence, the father assumed the plans had changed with the mother, and he then left the residence for the evening. Police turned the boy over to Child Protective Services. The woman captured in the video could face felony charges for child endangerment. What if they wasn't home? He could have roamed down the street, got hit by a car, somebody could have kidnapped him or anything. That's bad, man. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. Um, so you guys saw the father, you guys saw what he had to say. So now the woman behind this entire situation, the girl who dropped the baby off and then ran for the hills, she's not speaking now. And this bitch got the nerve to have an attitude with us, honey. She's mad at us. She's mad at the mother. It's everybody else's fault, but this biscuit head bitch's fault, okay? Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. It is 10 seconds of video that had the world asking why two-year-old Royal Simmons was caught on doorbell video being dropped off at a home in the spring area by a family friend, Kira Woods. Turns out this was the wrong home and the rapid drop-off shows Woods only waited with the child for eight seconds on the front porch before running to her car. Woods says there is an explanation. She tells us the boy's mother asked her to drop him off, claiming the boy's stepmother has a restraining order against her. Woods says she's never met that stepmother, the father, or visited their home, so she was relying on GPS directions and the boy's mother, who was on the phone with her, to get her to the correct house. I followed the GPS. She put the GPS in for me. I followed the GPS. Mind you, I'm still on the phone with her. So by the time I get to the house, I say, well, I'm, I just pulled up to the house. She said, okay, get out the car, get his bed, and go to the door. By the time I get, get to the door, I ring the doorbell. I still have him in my hand. I say, it's like five cars out here, a red car, a black car, and a white car. And it's like two more other cars. She said, okay, that should have let you know I was at the wrong house then because, you know, your baby daddy don't drive them in the car. Okay, so I ring the doorbell. The lady walked, like, halfway to the door. That's when I took off running. And the only reason why I, was, I started running is because it was chilly outside and 
I didn't have no sweat on, as you can see on the video. The video sparked outrage across America. A woman hauling a little boy by his arm, ringing the doorbell, and then running away, abandoning the kid. How could anyone be so cruel? Well, she's speaking out today, exclusively to Inside Edition. And she says it's not what it looks like. Her name is Kiara Woods. She's only 20 years old. She says she was doing the boy's mother a favor by dropping the two-year-old off at his father's house. Unfortunately, she says she was given the wrong address. The reason people were so alarmed by the video was they thought that you just went and dumped him at the door and ran off. Yes, and it wasn't like that. She says before she ran off, she saw a woman coming to the door, a woman she assumed was the little boy's stepmom. I could see her through the glass window, and I'm pretty sure she could see me standing there too. She says the boy's mom has a strained relationship with the stepmom and told Kiara not to engage in any conversation. She said, leave him on the porch. I said, you sure you want me to leave your child on the porch? I say, she said yes. Well, why didn't you stay at the door just to make sure that the little boy, he's only two years old, he could have gone out into the street. I didn't stay at the door because I seen her coming halfway to the door. In another video just released by the sheriff's department, you can see Kiara dragging Royal by his arm from her car to the door. It sure looks like it hurts. You appeared to be dangling the little boy by I was, one arm. I was trying to carry his bed, carry him. But it looks like you could hurt him that way, dangling by his arm. It wasn't tension on purpose like oh let me drag him up here no i would never do that the boy's father willie simmons who lives next door was livid i'm i'm angry i'm upset every time i watch the video i get more and more madder little royal simmons was placed temporarily with child protective services in houston today he's back home with his mom but Kiara says her life has been turned upside down. Everybody looking at me like the bad person. I was only helping my friend out by doing her a favor. All right, y'all just heard what Kira Woods had to say. Now, first and foremost, I thought holes didn't get cold, okay? Y'all remember that saying, thank Carter B started it. Holes don't get cold. They can wear a bra top in zero below weather and they'll still be out there thotting, okay? Bitch, how cold is it in Texas in the middle of damn October? I'm not saying that it's, you know, super sunny and hot outside around 8 o'clock at night in Texas, but it ain't that damn cold for her to abandon a two-year-old, okay? The reason why this bitch is pressed and bothered is because now she's looking at facing felony charges for child endangerment, and I don't feel bad for her, okay? While she's trying to make excuses and say that she was trying to do her friend a favor, and this was a friend of her aunt's, and, you know, she was just asked to drop the little boy off, she claimed because the stepmother of the little boy has a restraining order against the mother. To me, that's neither here nor there, okay? Because her actions are what I'm worried about. Even before she got to the doorstep, what was she doing to that little boy? She was literally grabbing him by his arm. She could have easily dislocated his shoulder because he's nothing but two years old. He probably weighs about not even, what, 20 pounds? She's grabbing him by his arm like he's a piece of Amazon mail or a piece of luggage and basically dragging him and then leaves him on the doorstep couldn't wait, you know, an, an additional seven seconds. She sees somebody walking towards the door and instead of being an adult and speaking to that person, she runs off like a chicken with his head cut off. But see, that's what chicken heads do. Because people who really care about children, people who really care about your kids, they're not just going to grab your kid by the arm like that, first and foremost. Second of all, when most people drop kids off or exchange kids, there's always some type of report. When my little nephew comes over and my brother comes to get his son, I have a report ready for him. He's not just going to just pop up and leave. Okay, well, he ate, he took a nap, he did this, he did that. And that's the thing. She didn't even stand there long enough to give whoever was going to open the door. One, to make sure that they were even the right person, okay? Because the woman who owned that home was a white woman. This was an African-American child. So one, she didn't even stay long enough to make sure it was the correct person. But even still, she didn't even think to like tell them anything. Had the little boy eaten? Did he need to be fed? Did he need to be changed? Was he cranky? Did he take a nap? No, she just bounced. 
And that's why I always tell folks, you have to be really, really careful, really, really mindful with who you call a friend and especially with who you leave your children with, okay? If she can take somebody's two-year-old child, grab them by the arm without a care in the world, the whole time she's laughing and smiling, thinking this shit is funny, sitting there showing her face off in the ring alarm because she can clearly see it's one of those ring alarms that record people and then to just run off. And then her excuse is she was cold. Okay, I'm sure the little boy was cold as well. If you're cold, why not pick him up and snuggle with them until somebody comes to the door? You could have got some body heat from the little boy. You know, this woman is batshit crazy and she's full of excuses. The reason why she's pressed, mad, and bothered is because she's not looking at charges. Anything could have happened to that boy. What if the person who came to the door was a damn child molester or killer? You know what I'm saying? She had no idea where she was dropping that boy off to. What if they didn't come to the door right away? Because I know for me, it takes me a minute. You ring my door, but you might be out there for a good minute. I'm not rushing, especially if I'm not expecting no company. You're going to have to damn wait. So imagine in that time, the little boy could have been scared. He could have ran off. You know, anything could have happened. And for all we know, maybe she feels some type of way because her friend's baby daddy, he seems to be living a good life. He's living in a nice neighborhood. Well manicured grass, that's a big ass house, at least four or five bedrooms, three car garage. Maybe she's feeling some type of way about that shit. You know, that's why I say you have to be very, very mindful with who you keep your children with. This poor woman is in the hospital sick. Lord knows what's wrong with her. And she's asking a friend to take her child to the father. And then another thing, I also had to say this to the father. If you heard from the baby's mother earlier that day and she said she was going to bring you the child and if she didn't show up, you don't then just leave. At least call and see, you know, are you still bringing the child? Is there a change of plans? The father then left, you know, and I'm not blaming him. But again, as parents, we have to do our due diligence. Even if we're not together, the communication has to be strong because again, this is not a 12 year old child. This is a two year old. So if the two-year-old didn't show up by a certain time, the father should have caught the hospital, talked to the mother, caught the mother's cell phone to find out, you know, what's going on. I need to leave. I need to run some errands. Is he still coming? Then at that point, okay, yep, he's still coming. And then at 830, when the boy didn't show up, at that point, she could have caught again. She could have caught her friend and said, yeah, you know, my friend dropped him off. And then all of this could have been somewhat, you know, somewhat resolved before the news media and the police and everybody else got involved. But this is ridiculous. This woman's excuses, she's full of shit. At the end of the day, while she's up here busy trying to make excuses, she wants to shift the blame on the mother and she wants to shift the blame on everybody else but take no personal responsibility, she's full of shit because at the end of the day, you agreed to take care of that child. That child was with you, so that means you were personally responsible for the safety and the well-being of that child, okay? So being personally responsible does not mean dropping off a child on God knows whose doorstep and then running for the fucking hills okay so whatever happens to this woman legally I don't feel bad for her and I feel even less bad for her because her explanation is bullshit and the fact that she's not trying to take any personal responsibility she's not apologetic she's not saying how bad she feels she's simply blaming everybody else so whatever happens to this woman criminally is what happens to her I won't shed not one tattoo tear I'm just glad that this story ended up well but again these parents you know you have to take accountability for who you leave your children with and then also not communicating because this could have ended up really bad like the father said the little boy could have you know ran out into the street got hit it's dark outside there's not a lot of lights anything could have happened to this child but thank god that that neighbor you know ended up calling the police and you know brought the child in the house and brought no harm to that child this woman should be ashamed of herself and the fact that she's trying to shift the blame and take no personal responsibility i'm gonna need Kira woods ass to have a nice tall cold very cold, okay? Since hoes don't get cold, I'm gonna need you to have a tall, cold glass to shut the fuck up with that stupid ass excuse. How dare you sit there and say that, you know, you saw somebody coming and it was cold, so you just decided to run off. Well, then how do you explain grabbing that baby by his arm? You show no care, no concern, no nothing for that child. And if that woman was smart, when she gets out the hospital, she better cut your ass off and never deal with your ass again. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing viral story concerning this woman dropping off a two-year-old on somebody's doorstep and then running for the hills and then now trying to blame the mother and everybody else for the reason that she's in trouble. So let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.